Hey guys, this is Val Sykes over at Exit Cleanup. Uh, we deal with, well, we deal with a lot of crazy things, uh, but one of the things we do take care of is some uh, odor remediation, which, uh, you know, one of our secret weapons here is, of course, an ozone generator. Now, with the whole coronavirus uh, outbreak, one of the things that an ozone generator will do is kill all viruses and bacteria as well as mold and other things that make odors. So in one way, it's a really easy way to, um, you know, clean an area out uh, and kill all viruses that would be there. So if you need, uh, you know, virus uh, disinfection, this is one of the machines that, that could do it. Problem with an ozone generator though, is that uh, it's a great tool, but it is not good to be around while it's on. Okay, what I mean by that is what an ozone generator does is, uh, well, this one uses something called uh, corona discharge, which is kind of funny since we have the coronavirus going on. But the corona discharge basically breaks up oxygen molecules, uh, splits them from O2 to O1, and then recombines with an O2 molecule to become O3, which is a very unstable um, molecule, but it does, it does uh, kill molds, bacteria, and of course viruses. So it's a very useful thing, but we can't have uh, what we call the three Ps. We can't have people, plants, or pets in the house or room that we're uh, decontaminating or using an ozone generator. Now with other systems like fogging and disinfecting that way, it's a chemical that we, uh, we spray or fog and that basically kills everything um, 99.99%. Uh, but when we're dealing with odors, sometimes fogging isn't uh, what's going to kill that odor. So an ozone generator is great for things like uh, if somebody was there that was before you that was a smoker, uh, the carpet stink. Uh, this is one of the tools we use to get rid of that smell. Um, but like I said, it's, it's not something that you could be in the house with uh, when this is going on. And this is a beast. Okay, I built this one myself. Uh, this thing is a monster. I got the fan uh, on eBay used, works fine. I, I re, re, uh, redid the cord and everything. And then I installed uh, the ozone generators inside it uh, because I wanted something that would be quick and uh, brutal, to be honest with you, when it comes to viruses and bacteria and mold. So, um, you know, this guy here is pretty much as big as you're gonna get uh, without getting ridiculous. Um, it's heavy, it's awkward, uh, but we love them. You know, it's better than little tiny machines that take uh, forever to uh, decontaminate a room, whereas this, you know, I can turn it on and uh, a room this size uh, pretty much will be filled with uh, enough ozone to kill all those viruses in probably half hour. Okay, so, uh, but granted, we do leave it on a lot longer. Uh, we let that really sink in. It gets into everything. Okay, ozone is a gas, and it gets into the carpet fibers. It gets into the ceiling. It gets into the duct work. It gets into everything, and that's why it works so efficiently. Um, now, ozone, I did mention, is an unstable molecule. It has a half-life, so basically that means that once that molecule is formed, it has a short life period, okay? So basically within, once, the, once that molecule is made and does its thing, you only have about 20 minutes to an hour before that turns back into oxygen. So that's one of the good things about it is once you get uh, a room cleared and you, you using your ozone, you have a short amount of time once, uh, once you are finished uh, to just basically a rest period, let nobody in, open the windows a bit, and within an hour, you're fine. Uh, people could walk in there. But uh, up to that, you know, no people, no pets, no plants. Anything that is alive will not like this, okay? I've had some of this ozone gas. You know, you turn this thing on for three minutes, and you're dying. You can't, you can't breathe this stuff in. It's, it's really bad for you. Well, it's not necessarily super bad for you, but it's something that you definitely don't want. Uh, it's very unpleasant. 
And the longer you're in there, the more dangerous it would get, obviously. Somebody with underlying uh, respiratory issues might have some serious problems. So uh, rule number one is you never turn the ozone machine on without proper respirator. Um, and you make sure that everybody's gone uh, from the property. We put a note on the door, we lock everything up. Nobody's allowed in there while this thing's going on. Uh, then once it uh, is done, a lot of times we have it on a timer, so once it's done, we come back about an hour later, open up the windows, uh, and once everything's cleared out, it is like the freshest air you'll smell in that, in that property. Um, so ozone is definitely one of those weird things, but like I said, for odor remediation, it's great. And now for the coronavirus outbreak, it's, it's a great thing to, uh, if you have a business or uh, even a home that you're not going to be in or you can get out of for, you know, five, six hours, depending on what you're doing, uh, this thing will kill any odors that were in there and kill any viruses that were in there. Um, this thing, like I said, is, is a little strong. They do have smaller machines. Um, but you have to be careful using these things. Like I said, it's, it's not something that you just want to turn on and walk away and let people come and go. They will not like it. Um, and you definitely want to make sure you get rid of any animals or anything or plants in your house or in your property when you're using this. Uh, but this is definitely a great tool. It's just one more tool in the uh, fight of the coronavirus and or uh, odor remediation. So I hope this helps. Um, for those of you who are interested in looking at this kind of stuff, you could always contact us. Uh, or if you want to learn more, just uh, get to our link down below and uh, we can answer any questions you have. Um, when using this, the reason I built this one and it's so big and ridiculous is that I can turn it on its back and it shoots up because ozone basically comes down. So you want to make sure you can get it in all the rooms and up high. So a lot of times you'll see people put these on pedestals or uh, tripods or things like that, maybe not something this big and heavy, but uh, it's definitely one of those things where, um, you know, you want to get it up high and you want to have some extra fans blowing the ozone around. You want to circulate that ozone really well. And uh, you may even want to, uh, you know, use one of the other units that has a hose on it and things like that so you can spray it into the ductwork for a bit. Uh, again, always wearing a respirator and protective gear whenever you're using this kind of thing or any of the chemicals or things that we use generally. Um, we pretty much don't go anywhere without a respirator on. Uh, if we're dealing with death or decomp, obviously we want a respirator for the most part because it's, uh, it's a smell that you don't forget. Um, and they're all slightly different and depends on many, many things. But uh, yeah, I like my respirators and my, uh, you know, organic vapor masks. Um, if you guys are interested in this or anything like this, like I said, hit the link below. You can contact us anytime. All right. Uh, be safe out there with this coronavirus. Uh, kill it when you can. Uh, disinfect everything. Wash your hands. Social distancing. All that good stuff. Uh, but take care of yourselves. Let's stop the spread of this and uh, get America back to uh, even stronger than it was, which is pretty damn strong. So let's keep it going. Thank you very much.